Hello, everyone. I'm Arajit Mukherjee. I'm a distinguished architect working on observability at Splunk. So there's quite a few industry trends that are uh, growing the interest in observability right now. But if you sort of want to look at it, I think uh, it can be expressed in two short phrases. One is software is eating the world. So everybody's becoming a software company. And then there's extreme Darwinism kind of happening in this space in the sense that if you're doing software, but if you're not doing it well, if you cannot keep up with the other companies that are doing it well, then you will probably get, uh, you know, uh, selected out, so to speak. And so uh, that's really the need. Everybody's moving to the cloud. Everybody needs to do this well. And I think that's where observability comes in. Uh, four specific things that I think observability you know, needs to deal with are volume, velocity, variety, and variability. So we have a lot of volume. We are monitoring lots of different things in microservices. We have to have velocity. We need to move fast. We need to innovate fast. So that's velocity. We need to do things quickly, find problems quickly. A variety, because uh, the services that we have now are quite diverse. We are no longer using simple architectures. We have complex microservices, tens, hundreds of them. So there's a lot of variety. And there's also variability, because these services are elastic services now. They're growing and shrinking in, you know, before you can uh, say a phrase. And so that's really sort of these four trends are making it very hard to do cloud well. And that's why observability is so important, because it addresses all these concerns. Yeah, so uh, observability brings a lot of big benefits to customers. Uh, in, in the first thing is that they'll at least have a clue of what's really going on, right? I, I said say that in jest, but given how complex everything is, like without good observability, without like a high level view, like it's very hard to know what's happening. How is my business really doing? And so that, that's really number one. Uh, Another thing that it provides is a faster MTTR, like fast mean time to resolution. So when I have an outage, when I have a problem, uh, observability and the analyzing the data that it collected helps me figure out where the problem is so that I can take immediate measures, right? So MTTR reduction is a huge deal. Alert noise is another big deal. I mentioned how much data there is, how much variety there is. Well, how do you make sense of it? And then how do you make a few meaningful alerts as opposed to hundreds or thousands of them and then get drowned in pager noise, which none of us want that. So having good analytics capability of modern observability, Splunk observability allows you to have meaningful, high quality, low noise alerts, right? Uh, you can actually have faster innovation if you come to think about it, because if I have confidence that everything is running well, if I have confidence that I can remediate problems when they happen quickly, then I will probably be able to move faster, push code quicker, have new features faster. This is how I sort of, you know, uh, protect myself from being eaten up by the competition, right? Uh, and finally, the data set that observability brings is very valuable. You know, in a Splunk, we call ourselves a data company. Observability data, I also, I think, can complement that. It helps us become data-driven organizations where I can look at this data, not just for operational purposes, but lots of other very important use cases that may span, uh, you know, like longer time ranges, like, you know, understanding cost or figuring out uh, capacity for launches and various other use cases are, are unlocked by this data set. So the Splunk Observability Cloud that we have been building and we recently made a bunch of launches is, uh, is very unique, at least I like to think of it. Uh, and let me count the way. So let me sort of give you a high overview of sort of how we are different. I think uh, number one is we are a comprehensive suite. And that is very rare in this space right now. I think we are one of the, probably the one or two good quality suites that are out there. And that is very important because there's more and more and more tools that developers and operators are having to deal with. And having a single tool that does many different things, be it sort of infrastructure monitoring, application monitoring, synthetics, real user monitoring, incident management, network monitoring, like the more you can do all of this together in a single simple way, the better it is for our customers. So that's one. Uh, we are also a true end-to-end -end observability platform in the sense that we can track what's happening starting from the user's browser down to our application and the microservices and the databases that they are using. So that is also pretty remarkable. It's a sort of a unique feature. Uh, we are full fidelity. Uh, this is a term we use to say that we don't do any sampling. We capture everything and we allow you to analyze things and understand things 
uh, any time, uh, any transaction that happened. And this is also a very, very unique feature. Not a whole lot of uh, others in the industry are able to do that. We are real time in the sense that we are able to alert you and tell you that something is wrong within seconds, not within minutes. And this is an extremely differentiating feature. And even now, there's nobody who's been able to sort of uh, mimic that or copy that to the extent that the, the quality that we are able to do. Uh, we have amazingly good analytics capabilities. I was mentioning alert noise and how sort of having good quality ability to sort of understand what's going on, have few high quality alerts, et cetera, that are you know, aligned to the business are important. Our analytics capability allows you to do that. So that's really good. And then obviously the, the, the whole focus on open telemetry, open standards is the other good thing. So, you know, with Splunk observability, you don't have to be tied to a Splunk specific software. Uh, you don't get vendor locked, so to speak. And so you can, you can you know, rest assured and, and also reduce risk of security and other vulnerabilities down the line. So those are some of the ways that I think we are quite uh, uniquely positioned. 